Hello, welcome to another kind of version 2 video. That is the G Line Full Custom. I'll be playing with uh, with Arm on a matchup Arctic base, and I believe this will be 550. And <laughs> I'll be using, a, I believe, a 60 range strength build, and I'll be using the Federation Assault Shotgun, which uh, for most people that is a uh, not the greatest uh, weapon in the game, and uh, yeah, not the greatest shotgun either. We all know that the shotgun that the that the, uh, the Zeon suits used, like the uh, the the E Free DS and the uh, Sturm Gallus. Yeah, that's a really devastating shotgun. You can almost just snipe with that, depending on uh, how many pellets you can uh, get during the uh, the spread, right? But uh, the the Federation shotgun is not really too good. I believe if you hit every single pellet, it will take two shots to get a stun. And uh, yeah, if you're trying to get if you're trying to work with it at close range especially at a high cost like this yeah you're going to, you're going up against suits that have multiple instant stuns uh you know you have some suits that they especially you know raids at close range right but uh, i decided to do just kind of roll with it where okay you know what i'm trying to try and just work with my team you know this suit is a very nice supporting uh role unit where it can stick close to a general and just you know support pretty much it does dish out a quite a bit of damage you know it is a melee sort of melee mid-range close range oriented suit uh compared to a lot of other supports especially if you put on the uh the shotgun and uh, yeah that's what i did i stuck around my teammate i believe you saw that zero shiki he took 2300 damage and i think at one point 2500 damage per shot on per meat hit and uh, yeah i wanted to see how i can make this plus 60 i say plus the 60 range strength uh work out and, uh, yeah, obviously my melee is going to suffer a little bit, but because I'm going to be fighting mostly generals this match, I think it's fine, honestly. Um, I'm still going to be doing, like, over 2,000 damage per swing, right? Uh, and I, just, I believe this thing does have melee combo controller as well, which I'll be using quite a bit here. And, uh, yeah, Arm, Arm will be using the GPO-1. We actually have two GPO-1s this match. This was during the first week where the, uh, the first week, yeah, the week that the uh, GPO-1 was uh, buffed, which is pretty nice. And I, we do have a... Hazel 2, which is a pretty pretty basic, but can be really devastating, stealth raid unit. Uh, it has a heavy attack as well. Uh, however, you do have to activate that stealth. And uh, we do have, I believe, another support. So we are, we're on Arctic base with two supports, which for a lot of people, especially at high cost, that is a, that is a death sentence. So we have a suit that's more range-oriented uh, with two supports and uh, a lot of just a very kind of weird team setup, right? And, uh, of course, you know, going along with the G-Line Full Custom, as I mentioned before, along with the uh, the shotgun or the beam rifle you can choose, it does have these shoulder cannons. And, uh, yeah, because I have that 60 range strength, that's going to be doing a good chunk of damage on enemies that come by, as you saw there. <laughs> and, hey, if I'm not close enough to get to, to get my melee on them, well, hey, I can just shoot them with the uh, the stun of my... Uh, of my uh, my beam cannons and hey I can go right up right up to them with a shotgun so uh, yeah and honestly it works pretty well uh, you know as long as you don't melee your team in like I just did there <laughs> I was kind of hoping he was just going straight for the zero shiki and not the guy I was gonna aim for but uh, oh well you know we'll have a couple of mistakes here and there right but uh, yeah <laughs> and yeah I, this is not the first time I tried playing this suit on uh, on uh, Arctic base uh, I recall a really funny, I say really funny match, um, I believe it was back when Arctic Base first came out, I used the G-Line Full Assault, or no, the G-Line uh, Full Custom, the suit I'm using here, and I completely forgot I had these shoulder cannons, so I was just using the beam rifle and my melee and Vulcans, I think I still got a good score, but that was back then when I was like in a lower rating, right, and I think I was still kind of new at the game at that point, so obviously, you know, it's not a, not a great showcase of my skills or anything right i just find that kind of funny to look back on that the <laughs> you can have matches like that and you just completely forget that you have something that could actually really help you out as a suit uh, especially you know with this suit being a uh, close range you need that stun right but hey there is a easy it looks like uh, actually the uh enemy team does have some weird choices here they do have the uh well I say kind of weird, but you know they do have an EZ8, and they do have a R Jarja, which is a actually a pretty, you know, it is a melee oriented support. But uh, I wouldn't say it's. I still, I'm still not. Eh, I'm just kind of eh on that suit still. 
And they do have a Zero Shiki, and I believe they have another... Maybe they have a GP1 as well. But yeah, you can see we're having, we're having a little fight here above the... Uh, I say above. We're right across from the uh, their base right now. It is 8,000 to 5,000. And yeah, again, i just been sticking close to a teammate. I'm making sure I'm in a lot of 2v1 situations. That way, you know, if I get targeted, I get saved. And hey, if my teammate gets targeted, I can try and do something to help them or get more damage off on them. Help finish off enemies. I can see here against this... Uh, yeah, this mass production Haiku Shiki is going to be taking that downswing combo straight into Arm here. And yeah, while Arm gets attacked by Zero Shiki, I'm going to finish off the, uh, the Haiku Shiki. And hey, now we're going to fight the Zero Shiki. And unfortunately, I'm going to miss my tackle because uh, his downswing seemed to lurch forward and I completely missed. But uh, hey, it's going to be fine because yeah, we're coming back in with this, uh, almost call this the street sweeper, almost. You know, <laughs> it's coming in, cleaning up the uh, cleaning up the garbage on the road, right? <laughs> As we uh, continue our way down here. Yeah, enemy team isn't pushing, just uh, systematically pushing towards us. Uh, actually, eh, it seems like just a couple at a time, which is very unfortunate for them. And yeah, we're going to take full advantage of that. We're all together right now. And, uh, well, <laughs> my brain's not all here together right now because I just shot my teammate in the back thinking I was going to get a, a stun on the, on the enemy, but... <laughs> Oh, here comes support fire. We're going to go ahead. I think we're just fine. I believe here's a little funny little moment here is uh, Arm survived all the support fire, and I decided to stun him. <laughs> I'll, I'll showcase that at the end of the video, uh, because this was, I was planning on making this an AQM, but I was like, eh, you know what? I can commentate on it. It's um, it, There's some funny moments, but, you know, not like the whole thing was worth to, like, post, you know, uh, by itself. Yeah, we're going to run up and uh, shoot the legs of the E, I believe the EZ8 there. And I can't remember uh, if this is correct or not, but I believe the Federation Shotgun, if you do, you know, you do mag dump the uh, the enemy's legs. I believe you can do some pretty good leg breaking. That's just me, though. And yeah, we do get the EZ8. Uh, he did do a dodge roll towards our other support. Unfortunately, that is a low-cost general. Uh, well, native-cost, low-cost uh, general against two supports. <laughs> And yeah, he's not going to last too long. And especially one of those supports is the Hazel Custom, which is a, a pretty nasty, nasty support. That's also really good at close ranges or mid to close range. Uh, and this suit, you know, this suit can be pretty nasty as well. If it can, uh, if it's not really, if you can kind of like, like what I'm doing here, trying to stick around a teammate, right? Unfortunately, our teammate did die and I'm going to have to retreat. And hey, they see a support with uh, low health. So I'm going to be the number one target for them at the moment. Eh, well, the teammates in the back line there. I'm gonna get targeted by two of them at least. I did get you know a good chunk of damage off on I believe the Zero Shiki in front of me. Might have been mass production, but yeah, we're in the last minute of the match, uh, and yeah, we've been just sitting pretty pretty much. <laughs> I think if we get another good push, I think we can secure a placement here. Well, it's fourteen thousand to uh, ten thousand. If we spawn pretty, uh, if we spawn in stupid ways and die, then there is a chance the enemy team can uh, catch up. And hey, I have seen people catch up in less than a minute with uh, <laughs> with the enemy team having more points than this, right? So, <laughs> you never know. So, we're going to go ahead and see if we can secure ourselves a placement here. Looks like the enemy team is not really hungry for it, though. They're going to be staying behind, or at least pushing very slowly. Here comes the EZ8. Unfortunately, he got a direct hit on me with the... Uh, the bazooka went for his typical easy eight downswing combo, and uh, it looks like he tried to hit his teammate there. Don't know why. Maybe, maybe he was kind of disappointed in him, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. Almost killed the easy eight, but the zero shiki took a shot from the shotgun. But don't worry, we'll do a combo on him, and the easy eight will get finished off by the hazel. And uh, yeah, timeout, and we'll see what we got going on here today. We'll see how the 60 range strength on the uh, G line full custom did. But, yeah, mission completed, and. We're not on the board, but our generals were doing pretty well. You know, the other GP01 and the raid. He was following up a lot with his uh, heavy attack, which is pretty nice. Uh, can do a lot of damage. And, uh, hey, third place, 5-2. and 20,000 pursuit assists. And, uh, you know, we, we were just behind uh, uh, other people with at least a good amount of uh, individual score, 3,500. And, uh, yeah, we didn't get too much in assists, but that's because we were finishing off a lot of enemies when we do engage them. Because, you know, 5 and 2, and we do have almost 100k damage. We're just missing 4,000. So we, were, we weren't doing too bad in damage either. So, yeah, that was a pretty pretty fun match. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a quick match. You know, I probably wouldn't have done it in raiding unless unless I was very sure I was doing... <laughs> like, yeah, I probably would have used the beam rifle instead. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know how you feel about the G-Line Fool Custom in the comments section. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And uh, yeah, I mean, I think I was overall just eh. 
with the full uh, with the G line full custom when it came out, but I think over the uh, over the years, I think I've come to really like it. Uh, just it feels pretty unique compared to the other close range supports. It, for some reason, for me, it feels like some of the close range supports, like the R Jarja and the Zaku Four, they kind of have to fish out a thing to do where like you know they got to get the heavy stagger right. But when they do get the heavy stagger, it's like a risk reward, right? But this suit, it doesn't feel very risk and reward. It feels like it can consistently do well uh, trying to get stuff off with, you know, it has a beam rifle that doesn't overheat when you fully charge it. It has uh, the shoulder cannons. And will, if you do just start spamming everything without thinking about it, you can overheat yourself, right? And uh, in the melee, you know, I believe you still do have one melee priority. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, if you do know how to place yourself in a match, you can do some pretty good damage with this suit. And yeah, I st I've gotten some pretty nice matches with this at high cost. Now, at 550, if I'm playing like a like a normal serious match, right, I'd still probably go with the Hazel uh, Custom because uh, I, I actually really like that suit at that cost, and I, I have done really well with it at 600 in serious kind of matches, right. So uh, I think I'd rather go with that. But uh, you know, if you don't have any other suits, this could still do pretty well. You know, if you got the right build for it. And, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> hopefully we can get some more, um, I know we've had a couple now with close range supports, but I want some more that kind of just have a consistent feeling like this suit. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it, and I will see you guys later. Bye. We're just, what the fuck is this match? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually, I'm gonna die now because of this, I don't have anti bus. Oh no, watch out! Oh, no, watch out. Yo, I fucking <laughs> swear, dog. <laughs> fucking swear, somebody shot me from behind because of that. I would have fucking murdered you. No, I'm about to